We're on our way to Cocoa Beach, Florida today, which is located in Brevard County, just east of Orlando. It's really one of the top tourist beach destinations in the state. A lot of tourists love it, spring breakers, locals, myself included. And it's because all those people love to go there that they've really struggled with the garbage and the trash that's left out on the sand. We're going to check out an experimental technique that they've deployed that they say has the potential to make beach cleanup a little more efficient. The president of Keep Florida Beautiful reached out and they're like, hey, uh, you want a robot? I'm like, yes, I want a robot. So a couple weeks later, it showed up. My name is Brian Bobbitt, executive director of Keep Brevard Beautiful. You know, this is my home. I want to make sure it's clean. Uh, you know, we see two people that are here with their families. No one wants to have trash out on their beach. So this is why I do what we do. This is Bebot. It uh, cleans the beach. So Bebot is a solar powered and electric uh, uh, robot that will actually sift through the sand and remove all the microplastics and sift everything out. It doesn't take long to fill up this tray full of stuff. We're constantly picking up trash out here, and you guys do an awesome job. Oh, we appreciate it. Uh, plastic bag, uh, several bottle caps, uh, sticker to a Star Wars thing, straw. Cigarette butt. Yep, cigarette butt, plastic fork handle, um, a dental pick. Ew. Is it like autonomous? It has to be controlled by a human. Just walk behind it, keep it slowly moving forward. And as you can imagine, you want to come see it? A robot on the beach drew attention. I thought you guys were cleaning the beach, but then I also thought maybe, are they testing something lunar? That seems strange. My brain, my mind was just uh, whirling as to what this could be. And then I'm, I saw cleaner, so I'm like, I'm going to go ask them. I'm not disrupting a NASA project. <laughs> <laughs> so I can control the, the pitch, the depth. Bobbitt says his volunteers still collect garbage here by hand. In fact, they collected more than 145 tons of it in one year alone. But it's the tiny pieces that Bebot is able to pick up that could be a game changer. What is that? That is a microplastic. So it was a piece of something bigger, maybe a Frisbee or a beach toy or, or whatever. Um, you know, it gets left out here on the sand. It gets uh, sunbaked, breaks down and eventually goes into smaller, smaller pieces. So that is the definition of a microplastic. Um, now the problem is that stuff can end up in the water. Mm -hmm. Fish eat it, turtles eat it, other wildlife eat it. We eat the fish. I was gonna say, and then we end up eating exactly. the fish and it gets in us. Exactly. So my official title is Education Coordinator at the Marine Science Center. My name's uh, Shell Webster. Mm -hmm. And Shell, short for Michelle, says garbage that makes its way into oceans and lakes can impact marine life that lives there, and, like uh, sea turtles. So when they're in the ocean, they're looking for food, they're holding their breath, they're diving down to go and get things like jellyfish. And then you're diving down again and you're going down for another jellyfish, but showing them that it looks like a jellyfish. It's a grocery bag. Right. And that's why this is, you know, I love the fact that you love this one. This is great. My little uh, plastic bag in the water that just looks like a jellyfish. Hi, my name is Alyssa Hancock. I am the assistant manager of sea turtle rehabilitation here at the Marine Science Center in Ponce Inlet, Florida. So in here, we're actually in our sea turtle hospital. And it's inside this hospital that Alyssa and her team have helped save the lives of more than 25,000 reptiles. A lot of those were sea turtles who were trapped in garbage. We've got some fishing line. Um, it gets entangled around their flippers as well as around their necks. So Ghoul was one that we actually found uh, plastics in his uh, GI tract. So all of this actually came from one turtle. So unfortunately, we do see this a lot with these guys. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually really hard plastics. Mm -hmm. So the problem with that is if it's going through his gut, it's actually going to cause lacerations yeah. um, and issues with his gut as well. If they're eating seagrass or anything on the bottom of the ocean, you get that plastic down there as well. That has to be heartbreaking to see. 
It's really hard, um, especially when we've worked with a patient so long, and then unfortunately, um, if they pass away due to plastic ingestion, or um, if we find it later on, it's it's really tough for us. How do yeah. you get through that? Um, <laughs> kind of just have to focus on the ones that we can release and the ones that we can help, and know that you know we're trying our best for all these animals. Oh, that sounds so easy, though. <laughs> I mean, it's not that easy, is it's it? It's not, no, unfortunately. <laughs> but you know, we just have to focus on the good. We would really like people to focus on. Uh, lowering their plastic use. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we try not to um, use water bottles. We try to use reusable mm -hmm. water bottles. Um, don't use plastic bags. So if you have reusable bags um, for shopping, mm -hmm. that can really help as well. But until more people latch on to that idea, Bobbitt says bee bots like this will eventually be cleaning 30 beaches across the state of Florida. This thing is just the start. Like I said, it's the first of its kind in the country. And we're very honored to have the opportunity to be able to test it out. But as we work on it more and we kind of figure out and work out some of the kinks, uh, I think we're going to see more and more of these types of machines all along the beach, roadways. I think this is kind of a way of the future. Um, but we're always going to have to have humans do the right thing first. Solutionaries needs you to be part of the conversation. Your comments below will help us tackle new topics and track down solutions. And don't forget to subscribe.